Uh, welcome everyone once again. Uh, my name is Bibi Gonçalves. I'm the host for today, uh, LingoPi's first webinar. We're really excited to, to be here, to have you all. Um, yeah, um, I'm Bibi Gonçalves. I'm based in the Netherlands, in Nijmegen, a small city near the border with Germany. Uh, I've been working with LingoPi for uh, more than a year now. And I'm really, really excited to uh, host this webinar and to be in touch uh, with people who may or uh, may not know LingoPi and what we do. Um, joining me today uh, are a couple of team members, which I will present to you in a bit. But before we start, um, I uh, want to ask everyone, in case they weren't muted yet at the beginning of the conversation, to mute your microphones, uh, just so we can ensure a good flow uh, of the webinar. So for people who just joined, welcome. My name is Bibi Gonçalves. I'll be the host for today's webinar, LingoPi's first webinar. We're really excited. Uh, and in case you don't have already, please mute, mute your microphone uh, during the webinar. Um, also, uh, this webinar is being recorded, just so you know. So. Uh, feel free to turn on your camera, and if you don't feel comfortable, uh, then turn it off. Um, yeah, my name is Bibi Gonçalves. I'm LingoPi's host for today, and joining me are uh, uh, David, who's LingoPi's CEO, Roy, who's our product manager, uh, Deborah, who's our uh, community manager, and Gabby, who is our uh, language specialist focused on Spanish. Um, besides being our product manager for tonight, Roy will also be our slide master. Um, so uh, during the presentation, I'll be asking Roy to move the slides on. So yes, I think um, lots of people have joined. Um, we can slowly uh, kick off with this webinar. Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, my name is Bibi and we'll be starting the webinar. So slide master, move the slide. So yes, uh, just a, a short recap uh, today. I'm reading as well. Some people are not uh, quite acquainted with LingoPi. So we'll be giving our, a short introduction about uh, who we are and what we do. And we will also be giving uh, some tips on how to use LingoPi. Um, yeah. Uh, a short introduction, just a recap on how it's going to move. Slide master, please go back a couple of slides. <laughs> We're having some right. issues, no problem. A couple of, yes, agenda. So we're going to give you a short introduction. Um, what uh, we do about us, what is LingoPi, then we're moving on to getting the most out of the platform. And at the end, we're going to discuss some of the questions uh, people have uh, put in uh, regarding uh, LingoPi. So before we start, um, we really would like to know uh, where you are and uh, what language you're learning. So just a, a quick um, intro, just a quick uh, first exercise, please write in the chat uh, below uh, where you're, uh, which language you're learning. So slide master, could you move uh, the slide? Uh, where are you connecting from and uh, what language or languages are you learning? Because we're really interested to, uh, to know. Uh, oh, I see Italian, French, Brazil, Spanish, people joining over from Brooklyn. London, welcome someone in Singapore. I myself am joining in from the Netherlands and our team who I just presented, David, Roy, Deborah and Gabby are joining in from Tel Aviv, so welcome. LA, New York, Ukraine, learning Spanish, nice. Good to have you all here. Uh, for people who might just be joining, this is LingoPi's first webinar. I'll be your host for tonight. And I'm going to pass the baton now on to David, who's our CEO. And he will shortly give a, a, a short right. background story on us and what we do. 
Stay Hi busy. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so uh, super exciting, super uh, great to have everyone here as our, you know, we're just, you know, trying to kick off our, our webinar series. Um, and uh, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about uh, Lingo Pi, why we, why we built it and really kind of what we're trying to do with it and, uh, you know, how to get the most out of it. So, so Lingo Pi, you know, we, you know, myself, uh, you know, I'm the CEO, Roy, he's, he's a, my co-founder, and we really built, you know, the, the vision and the idea for building Lingo Pi came for a love of languages, love of travel, love of culture. Um, and, and we wanted to, let's say, build the most immersive, most fun way to learn a language, which didn't, let's say, which didn't only focus on pure memorization and translation exercises, things that we see in, you know, many other applications out there and in all, you know, in, in, in more traditional learning. We said, let's create something that's, that takes all that great TV shows, movies, podcasts, music videos out there, and let's build a language learning system on top of it using technology, using kind of all the tools that are available to us and create something much more immersive so we can learn while we watch and then review what we've learned uh, from watching in context of everything. And that's really what we've, you know, that's our vision. Uh, and along the way, you know, the, you know, everyone who's been using LingoPy, all the language learners that we know, um, out there, you know, they've really been super helpful in trying to uh, help us hone really what we're doing, really to focus in on creating the best experience anywhere from like what, what, what's the kind of content that people want to see and what are the tools they want uh, to have while they're learning uh, with LingoPy. Uh, so again, we're taking amazing content, the best content we can kind of get our hands on from all over the world. And then we're adding this interactive layer on top of it to help people learn while they watch. Um, so we're kind of, you know, you know, everything we built again is based on, you know, what we hear from our community. Um, and that's really the vision and that's really kind of the direction of forward. So like, you know, everyone who's on this, uh, on the webinar today, it's up to you guys. The more you kind of, the, the better feedback you give us about what you want to see, how you want us to, you know, make Lingo Pi better for you then that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so, so uh, uh, next slide, please. Roy, next slide. All right. Uh, one second. Nope. I know. What slide do you see? The same slide. Okay, well, well here, here we go. So again, our mission is to create the world's most engaging system for learning with language, with, with content, um, no matter where you are in the world, because there's great content everywhere and no matter what language you want to learn. So uh, as most of you know, we're alive with six languages currently. Uh, Spanish, French, Russian, German, Italian, Portuguese. I hope I didn't miss one. Uh, and we're just uh, kick, kicking off English in uh, teaching English in Brazil for, you know, for Portuguese speakers, uh, as well as English uh, in Latin America uh, for Spanish speakers and as well in the US for Spanish speakers. Uh, in other parts of the world, wherever they may be. So again, uh, that's kind of, you know, we, we, we want to we wanna leverage all this amazing content. Our vision is to really do it worldwide um, for everyone. And that's kind of, you know, you know the way forward. So next slide. Just before we continue, sorry to uh, interrupt. Someone has their microphone on. Okay, I'm back. If you could all just um, make sure that your microphones are off.
Bibi, you're on mute. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Um, yeah, and before we continue, uh, write in the chat which shows you are watching, if you're currently watching any shows on um, uh, Mingopi and in what language you're watching them. Okay. Some people are watching shows in common. Kitty's not a cat. Nice, watching Sam in French. Ooh, Sam, lots of Sam fans. Nice, in Spanish, French. Someone is starting German, interesting. Pacific criminal, cool. Thank you. Um, overweight from Argentina. Nice. Um, and now we'll continue. Uh, and Roy, our slide master and product manager, is going to tell us a bit about uh, the platform and how to use it. Roy, floor is yours. Thank you, baby. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. All right. So, guys, I want to like go over some of the things that you will find on LingoPi when you first see the platform. Uh, and kind of explain how to work with LingoPy. So basically what you're sh what I'm showing you now is the catalog, which is the main page that you will see when you enter LingoPy, in, in, in this case, it's Spanish. So obviously this is a very, um, you know, an experience you might be familiar with if you have any VOD, OTT platform out there. So, Tons of shows to choose from based in, on categories and levels and editor's picks and viewer's choice, um, much like any other platform. Um, you can watch whatever you want, whenever you want. And I wanna show you a few things um, that I think would be interesting. Let's pick this show. Um, so, so when you go into a show, you basically have a video player, which you might be familiar with, but we have a lot of features around that video that helps, you know, helps you learn a language. And I have to stress out that the most important thing to us from a language perspective is, from a language learning perspective, is, is having fun, is getting into the show, you know, don't, we, we don't look at, the, at, at learning a language as a chore. We want this to be a fun experience where you get to understand culture, understand language, get into stories, you know, uh, find interesting characters in the story, much like any other TV you're watching. And I think a lot of us on the team uh, can say that we, we actually <laughs> learn our second language or third language using a process much like this, but with obviously without the tools but it's we, we never saw this as a chore it's just enjoying watching video or listening to songs and exploring and finding things that are interesting to us in different cultures that's the best way to learn around that experience we're building tools that will make it much easier for you to learn with so for example a tool that i really want to show you uh, which is called Mashup, and you can see this icon here where it says Toggle Mashup, and I'm clicking and unclicking it, and I want to explain something about it. This is a tool that we, um, that we made especially for beginners who want to get into a show, into a language. They don't know enough words, you know? So uh, basically, you can watch a show, read the subtitles in your native language, in this case, English, and we highlight words that we think are very important for you to learn. These are words that we um, put the, uh, in this case, the Spanish translation above the word that needs to be learned. But the purpose of this is making viewing very smooth. You can still watch the show, you can read the subtitles, you know, like you would on any other platform, but you get the extra value or the extra words that we highlight for you to learn. And if, um, just, I want to show you a bit of this. So as I play the video, you will see the word, you read the subtitles in English. Every now and then we highlight this word for this, for example, the word solas here for alone. 
if your level is, uh, is, you know, if you're not interested in this or if you're uh, intermediate, you can always turn it off using the same toggle. And then you have all the options in front of you. You can have both subtitles together, English, uh, Spanish above English, or obviously you can turn off English, have only Spanish or turn off English or have any other combination uh, for you to choose. Uh, again, I'm stressing this because I think it's, it's super important stressing out. So the way we see this, this whole platform is the more video you watch, the more you get into the content, the more you learn. It's just how it is. And even though we have a lot of tools, it's the most important thing for you to do is watch and enjoy. That is above all. And obviously the script and the uh, looping sentences and like changing speeds and collecting words and all these other great features are at your disposal and you can use it as much as you want whenever you want but keep in mind this is about fun this is about having fun when learning never forget that that's i think is the is the, um, is the most important thing that i can i can say and having said that I'm um, passing the baton to Deborah, our community manager. Hi, everyone. So my name is Deborah Otolenghi. I am from Milan, Italy, and I am the community manager of Lingopi. I am so happy this event finally took place, and I'm sure it will be the first of many others. Uh, Roy, this slide. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. Thank you. So first of all, I wanted to let you know to everyone that we are trying to create a very big and strong community on Facebook and Reddit. And we want you really to have this place where you can interact with us and let us know your favorite shows, your feedback and anything you can tell us about the platform and what you like and what you don't. So make sure to subscribe on Facebook to have and Reddit to have the, our latest news. And uh, second of all, I want you guys to see the show Immature, the Argentinian show Immature, and we will speak about it in the next webinar. We will also have Gabby, our Spanish teacher, who will build a lesson around it. So stay tuned for the next events, which will be super exciting. And I'm so curious also to hear what you have to, to say about the show, what you think about it. And um, yeah, now we will present some um, future plan that we have for you. And I will pass the baton to David, our CEO. David, you're muted. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, as I said before, um, everything that we're working at working on at lingo pie is based on feedback from the community we really want to hear what you guys want us to do um what you guys want us to build how you want us to move forward uh because there's so many different directions so many exciting things we can do uh around you know the tv shows the content the culture the play all these different things that we're tapping into uh so definitely please be in touch with us you can uh, as deborah said you know um you know you can write us directly or you can interact with with us in in any of our community uh forums on facebook or reddit and obviously follow us on all the other channels like instagram and TikTok and everything else we're doing which is super fun um but uh just to give you a peek into kind of the upcoming things we're doing we're working on so we're working on a really uh really fun feature called lingo lessons which are actually gonna be live teacher lessons around TV shows. So we're gonna take the content of a TV show on Lingo Pie. We're gonna build a lesson so you guys can join teacher lessons, uh, teacher led lessons in either private lessons or community uh, based uh, lessons, which are gonna teach you kind of from A to Z while you watch a show with a, with a teacher or a tutor. So it's really, 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 we're really excited about that. Um, again, just because we think, you know, using the TV shows is going to be the most fun way uh, and the most interactive way to get everyone, you know, uh, learning and enjoying their learning uh, process. And again, we're launching more languages. So if there's like a specific language you guys are interested in learning, let us know. We're going to work on getting that content and launching that language and, 
you know, doing everything we have to do to do that. Uh, and as well, if there's specific shows that you want to see for a specific language or, or, or a specific type of content or genre that you find really appealing, let us know. That's what we're here for. Um, and, uh, and as, uh, as, uh, um, uh, as BB and Deborah said, uh, webinars. We're going to do way more webinars because, again, we, we think it's a really fun way to engage uh, and tell people more of what's going on and, and uh, what we're doing. And, you know, again, give you guys, you know, make it more of a, you know, a more interaction with everyone on, on the platform. Because, again, there's, you know, you know, hundreds of thousands of people here. We want to tap in. We want to get everyone involved. Uh, and, you know, that's it. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and last, I'll just say, again, let us know how you want to use LingoPy. Let us know how you are using LingoPy, how you find the most value here. And, you know, that's really important for us, as I keep uh, saying. Um, and uh, I think, you know, that's it. So, Thank you, David. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Roy. Um, and uh, before we finalize, as, as uh, David stresses, we are really eager to know about what your experience is like, uh, what questions you ask yourself when learning languages, when uh, using LingoPy. So uh, before uh, having joined this uh, webinar, our first webinar, uh, LingoPy's first webinar, we've asked a couple of people to um, uh, or we've asked people to ask questions. So this is the moment where both uh, Gabby and Deborah and I will be uh, choosing some questions and uh, having a selection of questions of uh, questions that were frequently asked before uh, the, um, um, the webinar. And also if people now joining have questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. Uh, please stay muted and uh, Gabby, um, Debbie and I will try our best to answer these questions. Uh, but I also want to stress the fact that if uh, any questions are left unanswered, make sure to contact us uh, at our knowledge base as, or via social media as we have a team who are working 24 seven because we're joining from many different parts of the world. And I'm sure our team will do their best to answer any of your questions. Um, so yeah. Uh, Debbie, Gabby, any uh, question uh, you'd like to start off with? Let me see questions people are adding here in the combo. Hi, hi, Bibi. Thank you. Hi, I received actually a pretty nice question that I want to share with you. Um, what uh, method should you follow to learn language more efficiently? On LingoPy, uh, I think uh, it's a very important question, and it's the main reason the, why are we here today. So, as uh, David and uh, Roy talk about it, um, you, you need to watch more and more shows uh, because you need an environment to hear the language. When you are learning a new language, one of the most important things is that you are exposed to the language, if it's Spanish, French, Italy, or German, uh, you want to hear more about the language, you want to hear more sentences and more uses of the language. So uh, we offer in LingoPy many different shows that you can actually uh, see and watch how are different expression used in every show and every movie. Um, so remember, the more shows you see, the more words you click on the platform, so the more you will learn. Okay, great. Thank you, Gabby. Um, Deborah, was there any question There's related? There's a question that asked, will you have quizzes, exercises that include grammar at some point? So we are working on it. Gabby, our Spanish teacher, will actually have uh, do this new, like create this new kind of feature. And uh, yes, we will do have this option in the future. Okay, thank you, uh, Debbie. Uh, let me see. Uh, many questions also in the chat. Gabby, do you want to maybe do you want to maybe describe a little bit about how you think uh, grammar 
uh, how the grammar feature is going to work for everyone, maybe because uh, I think that's super interesting for people. You can give them a little bit of a peek. Yes, of course. So we are working on many new features about the grammar. It's an important part of uh, every every language, as you know. Also in Spanish, we want to put more emphasis for you to get what are the most important verbs in the language, what are the uh, nouns, how to uh, identify if a noun is feminine and masculine and singular and plural. So all those ideas we want to put in the platform that you can get it from the shows. It's a very important part, how to build a sentence. So you, we're going to give you examples of different sentences, of different words. We are working on a very nice feature about new words every day that you can receive it. And from those words, you can build your own sentences because it's not just about getting new words, is also about how to use these words and how you can build your own sentences, your own expressions, and you can use it uh, in, a, in the real life. That's the, the intention of a, a new language. Um, we are working on the lesson, as David also said, that we're gonna bring uh, this important part of the grammar about the different tenses of the languages, about the different part of speech on any language that we have, so we are working on the grammar uh, features and it will be awesome. Great. Uh, gracias, Gabi. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Um, maybe we could uh, do uh, one last question before we round up, off. Debbie or uh, Gabi, if you choose one last question from the chat or any other prior questions that were... Okay. Okay, uh, I have here one from uh, Gilberto. Why the dictionary shows only one translation? Uh, we already received also that question and uh, we are working on more translation. We want to integrate more dictionaries. And uh, sometimes the meaning of a word, a unique word, it's not the same of in different sentences. So we are putting all our efforts to uh, bring you all the different translation uh, for each word and for each sentence. Okay, um, and maybe uh, you, Debbie, uh, any other question you'd like to answer as our community manager? Yes, <laughs> I'm choosing, I'm reading all the questions and I'm trying to choose one less, it's very hard. <laughs> Um, okay, so how much time will it take to learn a new language, Spanish exactly? So I don't think there is a specific time which like you can learn. It really depends on how many shows you decide to see and how free time you have. But in general, my suggestion is like to see as many shows as possible, click on as many words as you can, <laughs> look all the flashcards that you have, repeat them, write them down, uh, maybe rewatch the show or just like watch other shows that you think it, that are super interesting. And uh, I think your learning process will be super fast. If you integrate also music or any other kind of side uh, <laughs> process, it will be very fast. Because with Lingopai, you really learn with the environment. And the more you hear, the more you will learn. So. Yeah, Debbie, why don't you do you want to tell everyone how many languages you know? Because you're not just a community manager, you're like a super, <laughs> super polyglot, which I think is awesome. Yeah, so I speak uh, five languages. I speak Italian, which is my mother tongue. I speak French, English, Hebrew, and Spanish. And I actually all learned them by watching TV shows. I'm not saying this because I'm part of Lingo Five. I'm really saying this because I really did learn this way and uh, with music, Spanish, listening to reggaeton and all the Spanish music from Spain, that's how I learned my Spanish. And uh, I honestly can say that when I speak with the native people, they think I'm uh, from Spain because they, I really have this language because of how I learned it and not with books and uh, other more or like traditional methods. But uh, yeah, so I really recommend it. 
to follow my path. My path. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, and I um, I can uh, I agree with uh, uh, Deborah and with Gabby as well that uh, yeah, immerse yourself in a language, and there's so much out there that you can use to immerse yourself uh, in a language. There's so much to explore, uh, so much content, so much music. And uh, we were also discussing with the team, like, uh, question yourself, why are you really learning a language? You know, uh, because there are so many things that might, mot might motivate us to uh, learn certain languages. So if there are certain themes you really enjoy within, uh, within life, um, try to focus uh, that uh, Uh, when learning so maybe watch certain content i'd like uh, certain genres of movies or series because that will intrinsically really motivate you and help you with the language learning process i guess that's really important well i feel like there are still some questions that uh, and we have some time so maybe gabby or debbie uh, any other questions you feel you see Who's been that have been asked frequently, or some of the questions that were frequently asked prior to the webinar? So Adina um, asked uh, if we'll we have uh, quizzes or an exercise that uh, includes grammar at some point. Yes, of course, we are working on that. You will see hopefully in the next couple of weeks you will see uh, the quizzes and the in the future more exercise. Uh, grammar based so 100% we are we are working on that just now um, I am reading here the questions when will Korean be added David you are thinking about uh, Korean yeah we'd love to uh, we, we'd love to add Korean um, we are we are in we had a couple conversations with some uh, Korean media companies we're looking into all the all the awesome K-pop out there, if we can get our hands on it, anything around that. Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, Korean is definitely one of our, our top priorities uh, for languages out there. We still haven't, uh, you know, from that, uh, from, you know, we'd love to get Korean. Um, we're also thinking about uh, Japanese. We're thinking about uh, as well, uh, Mandarin um from that part of the world as well uh what else can what, what other languages we're looking to add uh hebrew arabic these arabic. are all all coming soon what what was that arabic i said that yeah arabic said. exactly um and uh you know like uh that's you know we have our work cut out for us i think a lot of languages to you know to 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 yeah. launch not a shortage of languages that's for sure Languages and content, for sure. Yeah. Right. Bibi, do you want to answer a few questions yourself? I mean, you know a few, a few languages yourself. Yes, uh, I speak uh, Dutch, Portuguese, English, and Spanish. And I know a bit of French, and I can understand some German. Um, yes, yeah, so this, this language thing is really part of my identity. Um, let me see if there's anything I can answer. I have here a very nice question too from Marcos. Uh, I get uh, the exposure to the language to improve comprehension, but is there any project focused on in oral expression or fluency? Yes, of course. Uh, the idea on the classes is that you can meet a native uh, Spanish or any different language speaker, so do you can take a full class, you can speak about the show, you can speak about the topic, you can practice uh, your expressions and your fluency. And I hope in the future, we also uh, release some uh, recording features that you can also speak by yourself and you can check um, your, your fluency in the language. That's a very important part of uh, any language process uh, learning. So we are working strong also in that place and also adding to this the next webinar that we will speak about the show immature so it will be like me and gabby speaking with you guys and it will be also in spanish like we will combine spanish and english so you guys can already have the opportunity to speak with us and 
practice and let us know in Spanish what you learned and uh, which word were harder for you or what did you understand from the show and what not and it will be super interesting. Yeah, because uh, that's something I wanted to answer to add to uh, Debbie and Gabo, uh, Gabby. Uh, someone, someone asked previously uh, how much time it will take uh, for someone to learn a new language, Spanish, for example. Um, well, as an avid language learner, I think it's, uh, it really depends on yourself uh, firsthand. Of course, uh, things outside of, your, uh, of yourself uh, help a lot and can motivate you. Uh, when learning a language, so it's really important that you do it in an, in an ambience, in a setting that you really enjoy. And we know that lots of people enjoy, um, uh, for example, watching TV, watching series, especially the last year. Um, but what's also really important, and it's also something we're, uh, uh, we're uh, starting off here at Lingopie, and as Debbie said on the next webinar, uh, it's really important uh, for you uh, to practice. So what we also want to offer and start offering is a space, a safe space where all language learners, uh, all Lingopie users can uh, practice or uh, feel comfortable uh, to actually reproduce the language, which is something quite important. So sometimes, or crucial when you learn languages, people always feel quite ashamed or, or they're kind of scared when you go maybe to uh, the country uh, where they speak the language you're learning is to speak it. But nine out of 10 times, I can assure you, I speak from my own experience, people who notice that you're trying your best at speaking uh, another language, they're, they're really happy, they're interested, they're, they're it's fun, you know, it's, 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 it's really nice that you show interest in another language. So, um, yeah, practice and reproduce what you're learning. I guess that's something really important as well, learning languages, because, of course, it's a lot of information you take in, uh, which helps. Uh, but for sure, if uh, you're a bit uh, shy, practice as well in front of the mirror, making the sounds, reproducing the words and step by step. You know, maybe take it uh, somewhere outside with other people or once we organize web webinars, come here and uh, join us and speak the language. because That's really important. Um, yeah, I would like to add, uh, Bibi, uh, that uh, when you choose a show, it's, it's very important that uh, you, you choose a show that uh, you connect with, you know, you like it, you can enjoy it. It's a very important part of, of this process. And you don't need to run uh, far away to the click on all the words and go into the flashcards. Those are very important features, but we want you to enjoy the experience from the first beginning. And, and it's an important part that you can show, you can watch the show. Okay. Uh, you can feel that uh, you connect to the storyline, you connect with the characters uh and uh you will feel that uh, into uh some episodes you will start to understand more and more because it's a very important part of of uh, learning a language it's to connect to the culture is uh connect with uh, uh with the local place that you are learning so if you're learning spanish we have more than uh, 25 countries that speak spanish we have more than 50 different accents in Spanish. So it's not the same uh, uh, TV show from Spain or from Argentina or from Mexico. So it's very important that first of all, you connect with the story and then you start uh, gaming the game with the, the features. You have enough features to do it uh, by yourself. Yeah, thanks, Gabby, very true. Um, Debbie, any uh, last words from your side regarding so, questions? So, so about what I said about the next webinar and being about the show Immature, I personally didn't know the culture of Argentina so much. And after seeing the show, I'm so interested about learning more. And it was so inspiring. And I'm really excited for the next webinar. And uh, as I said before, we will combine Spanish and English so just stay tuned and see the show and I think it will be amazing. <laughs> well, thank you, Debbie. Um, yeah, uh, I want to thank uh, 
we're uh, rounding off now. So if uh, your questions haven't been answered, uh, make sure to get in touch with us. Because uh, as I mentioned before, we've got a team working 24-7 uh, on LingoPi. We're all over the world. Uh, I believe we've checked last. We're working from 19 different countries. Uh, um, yeah, eight, yeah. 19 different cities, eight countries, something like that. It's crazy amounts. Uh, but um, yeah, if your questions haven't been answered, make sure to get in touch with us. I want to thank uh, David, Roy, uh, Debbie, and Gabby for joining us tonight. I want to especially thank everyone, uh, all uh, LingoPi users or people who uh, have just uh, been acquainted for the first time with LingoPi. Thank you for joining LingoPi's first webinar. Uh, I was your host, Bibi Gonçalves. Uh, we'll be in touch with you uh, uh, soon about the webinar and make sure uh, to join us uh, in the next webinar with In Maduros, uh, Gabby and uh, Debbie. And uh, follow us on our socials, uh, read our blogs, check our website for more information. And yes, thank you everyone for a very nice first webinar. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Bye. 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 Bye.